Hey there, viewers! Most people are afraid of cholesterol, but the truth is your body needs it to make several hormones. It also keeps the walls of your cells flexible, but just like everything else in life, too much cholesterol is harmful. Low-density lipoprotein, or LDL, can lead to clogged arteries, heart attacks, and kidney failure. In today's video, we'll discuss natural ways to lower your high cholesterol levels. Why should you rid your diet of trans fat? Why should you also eat fish? We'll talk about all of these and more. To begin, you need to get rid of trans fat. Trans fat is a kind of dietary fat that can damage your overall health and increase the risk of heart disease. Trans fat is made by changing unsaturated fats to make the fat in vegetable oil a bit more stable. This is done through something called hydrogenation. The fats you get from this process are not fully saturated and are referred to as partially hydrogenated oils. These fats can be solid at room temperature and work well with spreads and pastries. It also increases the shelf life of these products. But what's good on the shelf is not necessarily good for your body. Eating trans fats through fast food and other products increases LDL cholesterol. At the same time, they also decrease HDL, which is your good cholesterol. LDL cholesterol is dangerous because it can stick to the arteries, collect in the vessel lining, and block blood flow. HDL cholesterol is good because it takes cholesterol away from the body and returns it to the liver. You want your HDL levels to be high and LDL levels to be low. Quitting trans fat would help with that. You may not even know that the foods you eat regularly have trans fat. For example, the popcorn you enjoy while watching movies has a large amount of trans fat. If you want to avoid them, steer clear of store-bought popcorn. That's because they're made with partially hydrogenated vegetable oil. It's best to make your own at home. Fried foods have a lot of trans fats, while some pizzas and non-dairy coffee creamers are also loaded with it. In a global study, it was seen that eating too many trans fats can significantly increase your chances of death from coronary heart disease. This is especially true when the increase in trans fats is combined with only a small amount of polyunsaturated fats. You should check the labels of the food you eat to see if they have trans fats. Sometimes companies round down the level of trans fats and suggest there are none at all. You should look for partially hydrogenated on the label. If you see this, you should avoid the product. You also need to maintain a healthy weight. When you're obese, there's a greater chance of high cholesterol in your body. For every 10 pounds of extra fat on your body, around 10 milligrams of cholesterol is produced each day. But there is a way to reduce these cholesterol levels. Research suggests that those who reduce their weight by 5 to 10 percent can bring their LDL cholesterol levels down significantly. It also brings down triglycerides, reducing your risk of stroke or heart attack. A study among women who were overweight or obese was conducted over the course of one year. They participated in a behavioral weight loss program and were also assigned around one to three diets. These diets were a mix of carbohydrates and fats, including walnut-rich high fat. The study showed that walnut-rich high fat had the greatest effect on cholesterol. It reduced LDL levels while increasing HDL. The overall results of the study showed a diet rich in healthy oils decreases bad cholesterol. Exercise regularly to bring down your cholesterol levels. Exercise has many benefits, including improving physical fitness and reducing weight. It also helps bring down LDL levels and increase HDL cholesterol in your body. Experts suggest that around 150 minutes of exercise every week would be enough to reduce your cholesterol levels. A study was conducted among 20 overweight women for 12 weeks. The participants exercised for around 15 minutes three days a week. With a combination of resistance training and aerobic exercises, the results showed a marked decrease in LDL cholesterol levels. Low-intensity exercises such as walking can improve your HDL levels, but doing more intense exercises for a longer period can be even better. If your exercise levels increase your heart activity to 85%, it maximizes the benefits of HDL and reduces LDL by a much larger margin. Doing resistance training at moderate levels can decrease your LDL, but if you want to improve your HDL levels, along with bringing down your LDL, make sure you do your resistance training at maximum intensity. The longer you do the resistance training, the greater the benefits will be. Watch your alcohol intake if you want to keep your cholesterol levels under control. Red wine has long been considered good for your health, but only when you drink it in moderation. Studies suggest it can improve HDL cholesterol when you drink it in tiny amounts. Other experts say this may not be the case. There is certainly a small increase in HDL, but you're likely to get better results through exercise. Drinking alcohol is also a slippery slope. If you have one glass of wine, it's often hard to resist having another. When you drink higher amounts of alcohol, it increases your LDL and triglyceride levels. Research suggests that high alcohol consumption will damage your heart long before you start seeing symptoms. 
If you need to drink alcohol, it's recommended that men restrict themselves to just two drinks a day. For women, they should only have one. Now, this doesn't give you a free pass to drink every day of the week. These limitations should be for special occasions. This way you don't go overboard and hurt your cholesterol levels. You need to stop smoking immediately. You thought drinking was bad. Another vice that can really increase your bad cholesterol is smoking. When you smoke cigarettes, the tobacco changes the way your body processes cholesterol. The immune cells in your body won't be able to get the cholesterol in your blood to take it back to the liver, leaving them on the vessel walls. The more this happens, the faster you end up with clogged arteries. Another problem with cigarettes is a chemical called acrolein, which is toxic. This chemical gets into your bloodstream from your lungs. Experts suggest acrolein weakens the process where HDL is transported through your body, increasing LDL and causing heart-related diseases. If you've never smoked before, avoid picking up the habit. But if you already smoke, it's important to give up as soon as you can. You'll just mess up your heart and increase your bad cholesterol. You can try a low cholesterol diet. Your diet plays a vital role in improving your good cholesterol levels and reducing LDL. Instead of focusing on one to two foods to help moderate your cholesterol, you should have a wide variety. This will increase the benefits. A mostly vegetarian diet can help reduce your LDL and triglyceride levels. It can also bring down your blood pressure. Make sure you eat lots of fruits and vegetables daily. Go for whole grains instead of the highly refined types. There is a wide variety of foods you can choose from to increase your soluble fiber in your diet. Oats, okra, barley, and eggplant are all packed with soluble fiber. Soy protein and almonds are other good choices. It may be easier to pop a pill to reduce LDL levels, but focusing more on your diet can have long-term benefits. Pills can also cause muscle problems and other side effects you won't face with a diet full of fruits and vegetables. Supplements can also reduce your cholesterol levels, but nothing beats the health benefits you get from natural foods. When you focus on a low cholesterol diet, you see other improvements like better bone health. It also improves your digestion and increases your mental health. Fill up on fiber if you wanna see your cholesterol levels drop. Eating high fiber foods like oatmeal, apples, and prunes can keep your body from absorbing cholesterol. Focus on eating soluble fiber. The beneficial bacteria living in your gut can digest it. Experts believe these good bacteria, also known as probiotics, can lower your bad cholesterol levels significantly. Wondering what the best sources of soluble fiber are? Well, you can eat beans, lentils, and Brussels sprouts to start. These will activate the probiotics. Flax seeds and peas are also great options. Eating fish has a positive impact on your cholesterol. If you want to lower your cholesterol levels, try eating fish two to four times a week. I'm not talking about any fish. Fatty fish that's rich in omega-3 is especially good for you. Salmon, mackerel, and tuna are great options. The omega-3 fatty acids do a lot of good for your heart. You can even use this fish to replace red meat. This will lower your cholesterol levels by reducing your exposure to saturated fats, which red meat has way too much of. Omega-3s are the heart-healthy type of polyunsaturated fats that will not only lower your cholesterol, but also decrease your risk of type 2 diabetes. Low cholesterol levels are necessary if you want to keep your heart in shape, but that's not all you need to do. Interested in learning more? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more videos, shall we? Check out 15 early warning signs of heart disease you should look out for. You can also try our video on foods that clean your arteries and prevent heart attacks. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to keep your heart healthy. Will you be trying any of these natural ways to lower your cholesterol? Let us know in the comments below.